What's happening, Bimmerites? Beats here with El Jefe. Today is going to be an awesome day. We have a long day ahead of us, but I'm really looking forward to it. Today we are putting my Catless Downpipes back on, changing my oil pan gasket, doing an oil change, of course, as well along with that. And we're also going to be trying to adjust the one rattly wastegate that I have. So really looking forward to getting all this stuff done today. Let's get into it. It's Bimmer time. So, car's already up on the lift. As you can see, Jeff is trying to move a tensioner. No, I'm going to do that after oh, um, right. After I get the subframe out. I'm going to try to save myself some time. Cause the engine is already uh, held up by a lift up there. Yeah. So basically, as you can see, BMW's oil pans are look a little intimidating to get to. They kind of are, because you got to drop the uh, subframe, which sucks, but, you know, you just basically, there's a lot of stuff connected to it. You just go around, disconnect everything, you know, and then you're going to end up having to disconnect all your suspension components, too, which is another fun little activity. Already took the wheels off as well. Now I'm going to take the wheels off, you're going to end up taking some bench Don't! off. You know, just make your life easier. So what are you removing right now? I'm removing the bolts that connect this coolant line, um, because I'm going to be dropping a subframe. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff connected to it. So, when you remove it, obviously, you don't disconnect this Don't! Or, excuse me, this stuff. Oh, then, um, <laughs> then, That's you know, we not swear. That's true. <laughs> a lot of this is doing it by feel, which sucks as well. Luckily, I've done quite a few of these. So, two awesome starts to today's filming. Uh, first off, my laptop won't turn on, so can't use the microphone that I was going to use. And that's really because I have a gig uh, this weekend, so... My laptop won't turn on. And the little light that I use to light the scene is recharging for some reason. It wasn't charged. So, off to a good start. Good start for beats. <laughs> uh, of course, I gotta make these bolts stupid long. It's always fun to try to actually get a good shot of what is going on because there's always barely enough room for Jeff's hands to fit in there and then that's about it. So Pretty much. I do my best to try to show what's actually going on. It's not always very easy. So, uh, usually not very easy. How's that? So you don't be dying, Gage. Okay. Long screw. <laughs> okay, 20 minutes into the job. One screw removed. Oh, we yeah. are moving right along. Apologies for the leaky hose over there. I'll do my best to cut it out. I can. But oh, sweet. No help. They put in an exhaust cutout. If you haven't seen that episode yet, no, we didn't film one that night. <laughs> there is no episode. But anyway, came out pretty Don't! slick. There she is. Oh, well, you can see. Let me see. I got a flashlight somewhere. Let's get a damn flashlight so you guys can see something, huh? How about that? There she is. Beautiful. I'm going to paint it up a little bit so it's not so obvious. Make it look some black. Picked up some black paint today.
nice little angled head on that. What's that? So uh, flex head on that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice little tool. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh! There we go. Just give it a little more. Yeah. Now what? Well, we need to be blasting hell out of that because that's going to be the only thing that's really going to fight us. That's the no! Which is what? The, um, getting the steering shaft off of the actual... Oh, um, you said that'd be the one tough part, yeah. Yeah, that's the only part that's just really... Because... No! Basically, I have to smash it with a hammer. Sweet. So... The only part where you know how much I love you when you smash my car with a hammer. Yeah. It's the only, and honestly, it's the only way to get it off. Other than that, there's no other way to get this thing, that thing off. And that's it. At least when we go to do suspension stuff, it's all recently uh, loosened up. Yep. At least we won't have to won't fight us. And Yay! Fight us and get rid of all the leaky oil. Yep. Clean it all up. Make it look pretty. So what do we got left for gaskets after this? Nothing. We're good. Pretty much. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Pretty much replaced everything. Gonna be on the bushings and. Yep. At at that point, you know, you've replaced all the uh, major BMW notorious leaks. Essentially. So, See, uh, Jeff just finesse it. <laughs> Bert, you don't succeed. You I just pushed a little from the right angle. He's got a pry bar out. I'm a tech beat. I'm, I'm used to just having to. Uh, I know. Dude, I, I know that is generally the case. It's all good. We don't usually get the option of finesse. It's usually. Don't go. Don't go. That's why I'm here, Jeff. <laughs> Hold the camera and sometimes use one finger. It's <laughs> special. Hey, I can use two. All right, what you working on removing there? Removing power steering line off steering rack itself. Just because. These are the power steering lines here. Yep. Nice and easy. There is one bolt that's going to be on the subframe that I'm leaving on just because I don't have great access to it. So I'm going to drop the subframe partially and then uh, get that last bolt out. Yeah, uh, so leaving right after doing the exhaust cutout, just coincidental, just barely got out of the shop, away from the shop. And the water pump went on me. So water pump and thermostat got replaced. Also didn't film an episode of that because I wasn't even here. My wife had to come pick me up uh, after I stayed over for the night. Uh, and then of, he beats on a sleepover. Jeff is awesome. So when I wasn't here, he just fixed it for me. So then I came and picked it up a few days later. So there's no episode of that. But she did just get a new water pump and thermostat as well. well just new stuff every week. That's how we do. Okay, cool. Did want to do the water pump though. <laughs> Did water, just, but now I'm good for the next four or five years, you know. Yep. And next eighty K until uh the fact that it happened like two miles from the shop was incredible. I have a lot of road trips planned for this summer and stuff. I could have been anywhere when that happened and somehow it happened, so you know, it worked out really well. Fun with Bimmers. That's the new name of the show. Now we're just gonna call it Fun with Bimmers. And fun will be italicized. So, it's gonna be this burden torque. Of course. Of course.
is hor- horrible to get to. <laughs> Sorry, that's what, it, it's all good. what I had to do at work sometimes. It's all good. See, like, how am I supposed to get you guys a shot of that? Yeah. yeah. Cause there's no way. Only hands fitting in there. Sort of. So, if you can see right there is that inverted Torx. Terrible camera work, probably, but that's the one he's working on there. Let's see if I can get my room. No, I can get it on it, but it doesn't have the strength to actually turn that bolt. So, what are we doing this by hand? One click at a time. Click at a time. Maybe a click and a half. Hmm. Actually, now that's broken free, I think it's probably can small use that. Ooh, fifth of a turn. That's get about maximum for a bimmer. Oh, that's nice. A BMV. I can handle that. Fifth of a turn. Damn, you're nice to me today, girl. Okay, here comes my favorite part. Smashy, smashy. I'm gonna look the other way. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no smashy, smashy. That's what I like. See, finesse, El Jefe, finesse. No, no that, that's, a, that's a one in a million chance right <laughs> there. Dudes. That, that was called a, uh, a miracle. That's like the steering column right there? That's the steering uh, knuckle. The, sh the shaft. Shaft steering knuckle. Shaft. Dub that's a double joint, they call it. All right. Okay. So, at this point, now I can drop this. And I can get a little more space then to get to that bolt. Yeah, that should be good. Space there is now, Beats. You just have to remove half your no! car. <laughs> There's still no space. <laughs> yeah, this is being held up by these. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna get that one bolt out. Progress. Coming along. Oh. <laughs> Only had three hands. Mm -hmm. Or four. Four would be fine too. <laughs> Thirty. I mean, you kind of want arms too. You just wouldn't want four hands. No, if like... I had like two hands, like, <laughs> hand, just hold the like that. That. one like there, one like there. Uh... Right. I would say Beamer TV. It did not max out. <laughs> you know how we fix that? Yeah, bring the car down a little. Yep. I see. That took together that fucking thing out or did you? Yeah, wow, yeah. Doesn't have a ton of contact. Bolt a little 
wet. <laughs> Heard of wet nuts, but not usually wet bolts. Just gonna do one quick look over, make sure everything's off. Yeah, looks all good. You know, just dismantling my car. Yep. So it looks like uh, the subframe doesn't come all the way out. Some of you probably know this. Not Jeff, though. Some of them do. <laughs> Most of them, they have a nice little uh, gap right here. And I forgot about this one doesn't. So, well, we're going to leave it like that. So I can still do everything. Yeah. Cool. What's up? Well, I mean... Pulley and pump yep. there. Yep, that was what, power steering pump. That's power steering. Yeah. Now we just zip all of these off. Yeah. Oil pan's almost out. Okay, so now he's just taking out the oil pan gasket bolts, which you want to change these out. They are stretch bolts and they're aluminum, so uh, you don't want to put them back in. They're kind of like one-time use. So, you basically just go around, a little time consuming, a lot of bolts. Usually we uh, throw these at each other at work. <laughs> It's caught on that front end there. Yep. Okay, I got the back. all that stuff off once I get the oil pan on. Yeah. Yeah. El Jefe is going to show us a little trick on how to make sure your oil pan gasket stays lined up when you're putting it back together. So some people just use RTV. Um, what we do, we use zip ties. So you throw a couple zip ties through them. You don't make it crazy tight, you just kind of, you know, get it on there so it keeps the oil pan roughly in place. So you put a couple bolts in after and then you just cut the zip ties off and you're all lined up. So usually we do two but I'm gonna do three just to make sure she's lined up nice. 
Because race car. Because race car. Cool. And that's all lined up. So basically, just put the bolts in, get a couple of them slightly hand tight. So with the bolts, some of them are different. Mm -hmm. So you just got to kind of separate them, know which ones are, you know, which. You're going to have mostly short ones. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have a couple long ones, and then you're going to have a couple very long ones. Mm -hmm. um, name of the game is knowing which one goes where, and that's why it says me. <laughs> so like I said, uh, when you do the oil pan, all these bolts are aluminum. So you don't want to reuse aluminum bolts. Uh, they're stretch bolts. So. So, as you can see, most of these are these slightly small ones. So those are going to be kind of your main bolts. And then you have, as you can see, a couple long bolts and a couple very long bolts. <clears throat> You're not going to necessarily use all of these. Um, they give you more in the kits just because they want to be able to fit a wider variety of cars. So, you know, if you have extras, it's not a big deal whatsoever. But as you can see, if you leave some empty, that's a big deal. But no, 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 exactly. All filled no, and you have no, exactly. Extras. If they're all filled, yeah. like I said, these are more of a generic pack of, um, a pack yeah. of these oil pan yeah. bolts because so many different cars use them. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you might have a couple extra of these lying mm -hmm. around. It's not a, mm -hmm. not a big deal. You didn't, you did not mess anything up. Look at how nice and clean she looks. Oh, yeah. like Ow! No! in there so that you can just cut the zip ties off now and we are good to go super excited to have this done she has been leaking oil obviously you know it was apparent around the whole oil pan gasket and oil was not being needed to be added every so often so really happy to have this done it's a big job and it's one that I'm really happy like I said to get out of the way well not that I'm getting it out of the way but to have it out of the way so El Jefe is just using his digital torque wrench here to torque down all the oil pan bolts to the proper specifications, which is 20 Newton meters. back in and we got my uh, stock down pipes off and right now Jeff is just working on getting the wastegate actua actuators reconnected from the front turbo because we were adjusting that one to try to reduce the rattle and a little bit of leak so uh, it's a real pain in the ass getting the bolts back on them uh, it took an hour last time and we're probably up to about a half an hour this time. Yep. So once it gets a thread, it's not so bad, but just getting it to thread on there a little bit is a real pain in the ass. Yeah. So anyway, where we're at right now, looking like this. So can't actually show you what we're working on, where the actuator is, 
actuator, actuator, yep. actuator, actuator. Uh, because it's like on top of the turbo and you just can't see it from here. So I'd show you what I mean, but I can't. are going well we are making great progress it's not often we can say that fingers crossed it keeps going that way subframe just got mounted back on as you just saw and uh, now we're gonna start putting the suspension back together so make it move <laughs> Okay, well, apologies for the rather sudden ending on that one. A bunch of people ended up coming by the shop and everybody was talking and making a bunch of noise and it made it rather difficult to film uh, or for you guys to hear anything that we were saying. So just kind of spread it up for you there as we put things back together. Uh, everything was fine, no leaks. Real happy about that. Who wants oil leaks? I don't. Get them out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, do something, show your support. Let us know you're out there. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you on the next episode of Bimmer TV. It's Bimmer time. <laughs>